Of course, that means Andy Green. Andy, great to see you. Still just rain out there, Andy? So far. Okay. So far. I did have a little bit of ice on the back of my car. But, oh, really? But so, but it's pretty much just rain right okay, now. Okay, very good. So the United Way, how are things going uh, on your front? Uh, well, it's been a great uh, start to the year. Um, we uh, are keeping really busy. We have lots of uh, stuff going on. We're kind of, uh, uh, I guess we'd say we're winding down our campaign, but we're still not really where we, we want to be. We want to raise a little more money. Uh, so if, if we haven't, if you have not yet contributed to the United Way and you're a historic giver, please uh, think about uh, doing that in the coming weeks. But uh, we're getting ready for our, uh, our uh, citizens review uh, process, which is starting like right now. And that is very important. Now, who's all involved in that, Andy? Uh, So uh, Matt uh, Brish from uh, House and Jeffries is the chair of uh, that process. And uh, Alethea Cahoy is one of our other chairs. She's with the Mississippi Bend, uh, or the River Bluff Foundation. And um, we have then a a panel of of community leaders and community uh, representatives. We're still kind of filling uh, that panel out. But um, all of our uh, agencies that are looking to uh, get funding for uh, uh, the next year uh, will be presenting to that uh, panel in, uh, in April and May. But um, right now we're starting the process with the, we have an application and, and you have about a month to get that application in. But we are a little, we were supposed to launch the application on the 15th. We're a little bit delayed because we're, we're trying to streamline the process and get everything online uh, so that you don't have to turn in a physical copy. Um, and also we, we really uh, uh, edited our, our application so that it's a lot easier for, uh, for our agencies to uh, fill out. So right now we're just kind of waiting for that to come up on our, on our website and then, and then that'll be launched. Again, busy with Andy Green now. Is it basically the same agencies every year, Andy, or do you see some trying to come on, some dropping off? Yeah, so uh, we have uh, 19 agencies uh, currently, um, and uh, that's kind of the ones that survived COVID, you know, I mean, in terms mm-hmm. of uh, being a United Way partner. But uh, um, any United, any like 501c3 uh, can apply that, that fits into, we have, uh, three categories, education, uh, health and wellness, and financial stability. Um, and so uh, any uh, 501c3 can apply. I uh, would like, if, you, if before you apply, if you reach out to me first, we kind of have the conversation about what that all entails um, so that we're, you know, kind of not uh, surprised. <laughs> but uh, we do have some uh, groups that either are coming back after uh, COVID or, you um, or want to be with you know part of the uh, United Way umbrella, and so we've had some of those conversations. So uh, hopefully, uh, if you know a year from now, I'm sitting when we have a number higher than uh, 19, I want to be able to serve everybody that we can. Andy, I was trying to recall when you came on board. Were you a part of this last year, the Citizens yeah. Review? Okay. Yeah. So what kind of presentations do they put together? I mean, do they have, like, slides, or how does that all yeah, work? Yeah, so uh, some people uh, bring in, like, PowerPoint slides. Some people uh, just kind of have, like, a table talk conversation. But um, it, we're really looking at uh, how your organization is growing and what you're doing with the funding that – that you've been given in the past. Um, if, uh, if you're an organization that hasn't been uh, funded in the past, what you would, what you would want to get accomplished with that, uh, funding. And then like, if, you know, then in the future, you know, you'd want to be able to show what you did with that, uh, funding. We have a lot of great things happening in the County. And so it's actually really, that, that's, uh, so we, it's about a three week process of doing all those presentations. And that's some of the best three weeks where, I mean, there's things that are hard subjects. We are talking about homelessness and drug addiction. Um, those are hard subjects, but the, the efforts and the heart that um, our agencies are putting into solving these problems uh, is just uh, phenomenal. Yeah, you know, my kudos to the people who are part of this review board because it cannot be an easy process. It's somewhat time-consuming, and I would imagine the decisions sometimes are pretty difficult. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, there's only so much money that we can give out. Um, and, and as much as we want to be able to fund everybody 100%, we're, we're not fully there yet. Um, but uh, it's, 
it's all a hard, yeah, it's a very tough process because there's so much need in our uh, county. And, um, and that's just the reality. But we want to be able to help out uh, as much as we physically can. Uh, we try to keep our overhead at the United Way very, very low so that um, everything, as much as possible that comes in, we can get back out into our community. Again, visiting with Andy Greeny, the United Way, you said you were still hoping to get some more dollars in. If people yeah. would like to contribute it, how can they do that? Yeah, well, uh, the best best way is to uh, either call us at the United Way office, uh, 563-242-1209, or you can pop in uh, to our office. Uh, we're, we're there most every day, 9 to 5, at the uh, U.S. Bank building in Clinton. Okay, anything else we need to talk about here this morning? Uh, we'll just kind of get people on, on people's radars. Uh, on the 28th of March, we're going to have our annual meeting. Uh, I think we're looking at uh, 4.30 or 5. We definitely made a decision on that. I don't have that memorized. Uh, but uh, that's going to be at the Rusty Barrel, which is a new uh, uh, restaurant downtown. And so, uh, and they're not fully open yet. We're going to be able to use uh, that facility um, and, and kind of show that off. Um, so that's going to be March 28th. And then uh, two days later, the 30th is going to be um, is going to be our next Connect Clinton County Summit. Uh, so uh, we've been having quarterly summits, trying to uh, bring together all of the nonprofits in Clinton County, or at least as many that can attend the summit that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be at Comanche City Hall. That'll be 8:15 to uh, seven or to 11:45 in the morning. But it'll be at Comanche City Hall, and we're already looking forward to that. You know, you, you bring up something interesting. It United Way, you're centered here in Clinton, but you involve the entire county, Andy? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're working on a project right now uh, that I hope to be able to announce uh, within the next couple of months that will involve all the school districts. And that includes, you know, Delmer and, and Calweet, and uh, we do a lot with the DeWitt. Um, we actually, one of the weeks of our CRC process will be held out in DeWitt. And uh, so uh, we try to make sure that we can do stuff outside of Clinton as much as possible. Okay. Anything else? Uh, not right now, but I know that we have a lot of stuff coming up. So okay. I'm looking forward to coming back. So we'll have you back here on March 15th. Yeah. And again, if people would like to find out more information about the United Way and all the good that you do do, yeah. how can they do that? Well, we have our website, clintonunitedway.org. And my email is director at clintonunitedway.org. And you can always reach out to our office, 563-242-1209. Andy, thanks so much. Thank you. And now, the, the, the Dan Patrick Show. Dan Patrick.